In this example, I need to solve the following inequality and write the solution in interval notation. Here's my inequality. It has a less than or equals to. What type of inequality is it? What's the highest degree on any of the x's? It's a 1, so this is a linear inequality. And how do we solve those? So looking at this, it says we solve linear inequalities in one variable just like linear equations in one variable with two big exceptions. If we ever multiply or divide the inequality by a negative number, notice it says negative, then that reverses the inequality symbol. And also, if I interchange the two sides of the inequality, that reverses the inequality symbol. So let's go back to our example here. And we're going to solve this problem just like a linear equation, keeping those two exceptions in mind. So if this was a linear equation, what's the first thing you'd do? You'd clear your parentheses using the distributive property. So I'm going to distribute on the left-hand side the 3 into my parentheses. So 3 times 4x is 12x. And 3 times 7 is going to give me plus 21. Is less than or equal to, on the right-hand side, distribute in the 4. 4 times x is 4x. And 4 times 5 is going to give me positive 20. So I've cleared my parentheses. I have unlike terms on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side. So now I need to collect all my x's on one side and all my constants on the other. I'm going to collect my x's on the left-hand side. So that means I have to subtract 4x from both sides. And when you add and subtract quantities from an inequality, it doesn't change the inequality symbol. So I'm going to get 12x minus 4x is 8x plus 21 is less than or equal to 4x minus 4x is 0. So I'm just going to be left with 20 on the right-hand side. Now I need to subtract 21 from both sides. Again, that will not change the inequality symbol. So on the left-hand side, I'm just going to get 8x as 21 minus 21 is 0 is less than or equal to 20 minus 21 is negative 1. Now to get x all by itself, I'm going to have to divide both sides by positive 8. Is that going to change the inequality symbol? No, that only happens when you multiply or divide by a negative number. So I can divide both sides by positive 8. And that leaves on the left-hand side x is less than or equal to negative 1 8. So that is the solution of my inequality. And we now need to write the solution in interval notation. So it helps to graph it first. So here is negative 1 8. X is less than or equal to negative 1 8. So less than, all the numbers less than negative 1 8 are on the left. So you shade those in and put an arrow pointing all the way to negative infinity. And since it has an equals on the less than, it includes the endpoint, so you use a square bracket on the negative 1 8. Interval notation is just a shorthand version of the graph. So where does my graph start? It starts at negative infinity, and we always use parentheses on positive and negative infinity. And then it goes all the way up to negative 1 8. But as it can include the endpoint, we put a square bracket on the negative 1 8. So there is my interval notation.